Hi, my name is Chad, and today I'm going to show you a quick and very realistic way to change or improve someone's eye color in Photoshop. So here I have the picture we're going to work on. It's a nice, simple, evenly lit portrait, but the eyes, uh, the eyes could use a little bit of color to them. They look a little gray to me. As a matter of fact, when we go in really close, it's, uh, it's almost hard to tell what color her eyes really are from this picture. They look like they have kind of a hazily color in the middle, uh, but they have more of a bluish color on the outside. So really, unless we're going for an absolutely accurate portrait, we can take this pretty much any direction we want because we basically have a neutral gray to work with. So what I'm actually going to do is make this kind of a greenish eye because I think it shows a little more, uh, a little more in depth what we can do with this technique. So I'm going to start. If you've watched any of my other tutorials, you know that I like to mask using the quick mask. I'm going to start by masking off her iris so that we can uh, just work on the part of the eye that we want to change the color. So I enter quick mask mode with this button down here and I select my paintbrush. Make sure your opacity is set to 100% and I like to use a tablet. So I go into my brush style and make sure that my pen pressure is adjusting my shape as opposed to my um, opacity which is the other option that I use frequently but not for making masks. So I can change the size of my brush uh, with the cursor keys, the, the open bracket and close bracket keys and go in and make a very simple selection of the iris. Now the trick here is to stay kind of inside the part of the iris that is fully colored. We're going to go ahead and blur this in with the outside um, but we don't want to color any of the white at all. If we miss a little of the outside rim, that's not going to look weird, but if we color the white, that's going to look strange. The other thing we want to make sure is this highlight here, right now is a nice neutral color. We don't want to color it at all. The black you're, of the pupil, you're really not going to be able to color much because it's black. So you don't have to be super careful when masking that. But this, uh, this highlight here on her eye, we want to make sure that we don't color too much of that. So I'm going to go around it like that. Now all I have to do is go back in and kind of fill in my mask a little bit more. There are other ways to make this selection. Um, I just find this one kind of intuitive and it also allows me to do this step separately. I've got my, sorry about that, I've got my blur tool here and I'm going to blur the different parts of the eye different amounts. That's what I like uh, especially well about using a quick mask is I don't have to just set one radius for my feathering or anything like that. I blur this a little bit, I blur this much more heavily, and I blur the inside just a little bit too. Maybe a little more heavily around there. So now I've got a selection that I'm pretty confident in. I can leave or exit uh, quick mask mode but because we were masking, what we've really got selected is everything but her iris. So we have to go up to select and hit inverse. Now we have the iris selected. So here's the deal. We're going to use a gradient to produce a really realistic uh, eye color here. And also, if we use an adjustment layer gradient, it allows us to go back and change the colors if we aren't satisfied with them the first time. So it's a very easy, uh, repeatable, and uh, just a great way to do it, I think. So we're going to do a radial uh, gradient. We're going to go in, and it's got to be a gradient that goes from one color to another color instead of to transparent. And I know we're not looking like much of an eye yet, but we're going to go in and, and change these colors this color, I'm going to uh, go into hue and I'm going to grab something that's kind of a, uh, a deep like ochre brown color. And so you want the saturations to be fairly high on all of your colors. 
uh, just because we're going to use a very light layer um, to produce this color. We, so we just want to keep the saturations high. You'll, you'll kind of see as we go along. So just kind of get a color that we got kind of like in here. That looks good. And like I said, because we're using the adjustment layer, we can come back and adjust it later if we don't like it. So now I'm doing the other, the other side of this gradient. And I'm going to make it a greenish color. Now the green is a little trickier than the brown to get it to be a realistic color. So you just kind of have to look and fool around and think about what a human eye really looks like and try to select a hue that maybe has enough yellow in it that it's you certainly don't want to drift into into the dark you know uh, Kelly greens or anything like that you want to stay with something that's got some yellow in it um, but again keep your saturations kind of unrealistically high so this looks like a good place to start but you'll see that it's a little off center so I can I can go into back back to this level where it says gradient fill and you can drag the gradient so I don't want it centered on uh, on what it, it puts it in the middle of my selection but my selection has the top of her pupil cropped off so I need to drag it up so that it's centered in her pupil and that looks pretty close to me uh, so I'm gonna go back in and because I can barely see that brown I'm gonna drag that brown further out and I can see that I've got it a little less centered than I wanted maybe take this blur area out a little bit like this so that we've just got kind of got that rim and I'm gonna make it darker too I think it's a little too light so I'm gonna darken that up and I'm gonna take a little of the saturation out I'm still leaving it quite high I'm gonna make it a little more a little more reddish brown too I think that'll be better so back to the gradient area and we gotta get this a little centered a little better in the middle of the pupil now here's the trick. We're going to take this layer that we've made and we're going to have it only affect the colors of the layers underneath it. Right now it's totally replacing the pixels that are underneath it with the color of the gradient. If we go to layer options here, this is the blending mode of the layer. We're going to use a blending mode that's all the way down at the bottom called color. And when this is selected, it will only change the color of those pixels, but will leave their luminosity, their value. Uh, so we get, this, uh, we get this detail left back in there. And as you can see, that's very dramatic shift. So what we want to do is we want to take the opacity and simply turn it down. And you're going to turn it way down to make a realistic effect. So somewhere in here, we've got a realistic eye. 20% sounds a little high to me, so I'm going to back off and look at it at 100%. And see, now that, now that I'm back at 100%, I can see that the 20% is a little high. That's going to produce a slightly unrealistic unrealistically uh, saturated eye, so I want to back that off even more. I usually end up in the 10 to 15 percent range. With blue eyes, sometimes you can end up even a little less than that, like 8 or 9 percent to give a realistic look. And so that's, that's one eye, and that creates a really realistic green eye with that natural gradient from the inside blending out. And what I'll do is I've already got both eyes done on this layer, so Turning that on and off, we can see the difference. If I zoom back to 50%, we can take a look at her whole face with and without the eyes. And what a, what a difference it makes. Um, it's hard to view on the screen sometimes, but in a print, this really makes her eyes come alive and look f much more vibrant and, uh, and really gives a, a quality looking image. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That's uh, a pretty simple technique to master and really produces good results. So good luck trying that on your own.